Hello there, fellow Touch Portal A10 users. My name is Mike Fair. I made the Touch Portal A10 control plugin, and I have an update that uh, many people have been asking. And so, if you ask, you will eventually receive. And that is the update to be able to control and start macros and control uh, macros from the plugin itself. So I will just quickly show you uh, how that works. I have here on my screen, uh, in the bottom here, I have my uh, ATEM control software. And then at the top right, I have my touch portal set up there. So what I can do is I will just basically show you the uh, button there. You can see uh, the button that is, says test macro and I will just push that button and then you'll see that the macro will actually control the software. I have it plugged in properly here. So we click that and there it controls the ATEM and then when it's finished the uh, button will also uh, go away for the uh, I've changed the visuals on the button as well and that will uh, have everything I'll show you how to set that up so that you can have visual feedback on the button there then the other thing that you can do there are another couple of buttons that uh, you can use one is the button that is uh, the little uh, circle there to continue uh, making it uh, loop so if you put that on then it will show that the loop is now on and then if you push the button again it will actually loop through your macro and keep looping, keep looping, keep looping until you press the pause button here. And if you press the pause button, then it'll stop the macro there. So that is the uh, functionality that I've built into the control of stuff. And I will show you now how to set the buttons up in Touch Portal. So in Touch Portal, here we have the buttons that are set up here. And the first thing I'll do, I'll show you basically, uh, actually what you need to do is just use the ATEM software control to actually go in and set up your macros and record the actual macro using the ATEM software control. After you do that, then you can go to Touch Portal and then be able to, uh, let me go to the desktop view so you can see uh, better how that works. Uh, you can see, uh, you can basically just create a uh, button there. So here's a free space there. So we're going to go here down at the bottom here. We have the ATEM uh, controls here. Now we have a new action called run macro. So if you click run macro, then the action will be here for the press. And what you can do is then add this here and the list will be populated from the ATEM software control. Test, new, another. You can actually go in and update the software control and it will automatically add it to the list. Uh, it basically, if you go back to the ATEM software here and you record a new macro, um, let's put one here new and then let's do this one here really quick. Under, uh, let's go to create and then uh, add a plus here and then we'll just create one here, demo. We'll record this. And then let's just do this, this, and then we need to obviously add the pause as you normally do. Uh, so let's do it. 
And then let's uh, switch to camera four. Add a pause. And then camera three. And then add another pause there. And then we'll stop that. So now we have the demo uh, there. And so if we go back to touch portal here and read this, there we have now the demo action there. So we can select this and let's want, let's just select that one there. Let's call this button demo. So demo macro. Okay. So that is how you set the action to actually trigger the macro for that. And then what I like to do is have visual actions, visual representation when the macro is running. So in order to do that, what you need to do is go and put in the on event, you're going to go and find in here under the values. You want to find when the plugin state changes here. Okay. And then we're going to find here the ATEM running macro, it changes to, and then here you're going to have to type in the name of the macro as it exactly appears on the uh, software control there, the name of it there. And then once you do that, then you can go to your visuals here. You can change your button visuals. And then I normally just change it to something where change my background my text color to uh, black and then change my uh, background color to a yellow sync that up whatever you want to do on that so that's got it to change when the button is pressed and then you can go back here when the plugin state changes again here again the running macro does not change to and then we're going to type in again here demo and then we're going to go again to change button visuals and then we're going to change the uh, text color back again to white and we're going to change the transparency back to a transparent background so that's the way that you can set up the visuals for the button feedback uh, when the act when it's actually running there so we can click OK and uh, we'll save that there so we have that and so now we have that there so I'll switch to the split screen here and you can see there that the demo macro is there so uh, let me see if I can click it uh, here and then you should be able to see, let me get rid of the touch portal there so that you can see what's going to happen there. When we click on this, then it changes to one, changes to four, changes to three. And because we have it on loop, it's changing to one, to four, to three, all the time until we hit the pause. So we hit pause and it will stop the macro so that is how that works so that's how you set up the actual macro button to trigger that the other buttons that you can check on that let's go back here to the desktop view and go back to touch portal and i'll show you exactly how this button looks so here you're going to just basically create a on button on pressed event here for the uh, toggle macro loop and that will then just toggle the the button there and then again i like to have a indication there this time your state that you need to look at is ATEM macro loop with question mark. That's a true or false value. So you ATEM macro changes to true. Then I basically uh, set the background to yellow. And when the ATEM macro loop changes to false, 
I set the background to transparent and so that's how you set that one up. Then this other one for the stop you don't have to do and you can change it to an icon or just text or whatever but I have uh, an icon pack that has this so the play button is the default state there. The action that you're going to be using is the pause macro uh, here, which actually is here in, in this, it says stop macro. So um, you can just put that here as the action, the on press action. And then on event, you can use the state here on macro, ATEM macro running changes to false then make it the play button because then it would uh, indicate that the macro is not running and then ATEM macro is running then make it a pause so that you can click on that to pause it there so when you do that we can save that there and then we can go back and we can actually and test this macro again so that you can see how it works again so we can run the test macro and it will run the test run it and we're continuing to loop there we can actually turn off the loop as it's running so we turn off the loop it'll actually stop the macro from running at that point in time and then we can actually run the uh, other macro there and it will just run one time and then stop because loop is not on and there it stops so i hope that uh, with that uh, new feature that you will like to be able to do and and use that well uh, you can make macros for everything including turning on the downstream upstream tier and every single thing turn up your audio all the macros are very powerful that's why i focused on getting macros working because you can set a macro and make sure that that works there however if you do want to have more control with the plugin uh, please let me know uh, of different uh, features that you think it would be the, the next feature to work on and uh, get in touch with me and uh, we can see about what the next uh, feature would be to work on for the plugin. So, happy streaming and if you like this content, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel in case I have updates on this and other things that I do and hopefully we can uh, we'll see you out in the uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook any streaming universe.